Hi, so I'm Anna and uh, today I would like to talk about the books I've read in the month of May. Uh, so there are only three in spite of my a lot larger TBR. <laughs> um, but basically uh, the first one I read was uh, Julian Barnes's The Sense of an Ending. It's basically a quite short book, it's maybe a novella, it's like 140 pages or something. It was associated with the man booker at least, it was shortlisted, I don't think it I have no idea if it won, um, but it was shortlisted in uh, 2011 and it's basically a work of, I think, postmodern fiction which uh, discusses themes of memory and the reliability of the narrator, those kinds of things. It basically follows this man who has, who is old and looking back on his youth, like basically he's just old and suddenly he gets uh, something from the mother of his ex-girlfriend from when he was like 20 or something. And he's basically retracing his memories as to what happened. And I have to say that even though I was completely shocked and just out of my mind about this book when I was reading it, it's uh, a bit over a month later now and I can barely remember what happened which is really awkward because I know I really enjoyed this. It didn't really stay with me. Uh, the writing was absolutely gorgeous uh, and I loved the descriptions of um, basically a friend group in their youth because it really reminded me of the secret history. They were, bas they were basically throwing around their pretentiousness and their academic skills which is something I just really enjoy. But then the main character kind of grew up. This was really an interesting novel because you were given the opportunity of piecing everything together but I was constantly forgetting his name because he's very plain and he, he isn't really an exceptional person in any way which is also kind of what this book is about like he's very on the background in his own life in a sense because the emphasis was more on him then instead of like on Adrian who's like an important character in the first part of the novel novella, whatever is... it's kind of boring because no one really like He's just not that interesting. And then it moves on to like his adult life in like the proper second part of the story, I think. And that's interesting again because it just like it's the plot, you know, and everything kind of get, it comes together. This was at the time really good, but it was also kind of forgettable. I would really recommend it. It's a very interesting reflection on things like memory, growing old, being kind of plain and boring. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and the writing is great, but it, it drags a bit, but I don't think that that's, like, it's not a good sign when a short novel, uh, when a short novel drags, but simultaneously it's only short, so it's a very tiny part, uh, like in objective terms, that drags. I would recommend it. It, it maybe sounds a bit depressing how I'm talking about it, but it's, it was very good. Then I read uh, Pill Fire by Vladimir Nabokov. So this is about a man, Charles Kimboat, who is like writing the commentary to a poem by John Shade called Peel Fire. In the commentary he doesn't really go into the poem, <laughs> he more elaborates on his relation to John Shade and his life. He describes this mythical land of Zembla which may or may not be real and how that ties together with the poem which it probably doesn't and it's a lot of fun because it really plays with what what a commentator can do, uh, the function of the author in relation to the text, authorial intent, how much you can like read into a poem without it becoming weird, <laughs> kind of that. And it, we read it for a postmodern course, and well, we read it as a postmodern book for a course, and it was a lot of fun. And I would recommend it. Now well, it's like a, sh a slow read, but it's it's a good read. So who cares? It was enjoyable. I also gave it four stars. It was nice. I would recommend it. Yeah, <laughs> I've said that a lot. And the last one was basically maybe the reason I read so little because it was just awful. Even though it was very short. And it's an Irish man's difficulties with the Dutch language. By I I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's a last name, but that's kind of where it stops. Basically, this describes um, an Irishman telling to his friends the story of when he visited The Hague in the Netherlands and he was trying to learn Dutch. And he got in all these weird, funny situations, which actually were kind of boring. And it also is 
unpleasantly dated. So it's all the jokes have to do with like a very much older version of Dutch, which is kind of just, I don't know, it just didn't do anything for me. I didn't find the scenes too funny. It's mainly just him using the wrong word for something to the point of where people get angry. There are a lot of situations where I think like he would have a very heavy accent, making it obvious that it is because he's like very unacquainted with the language, which would also be obvious from probably some other misuse of words. But no, it's only that one thing he does uh, wrong, which which causes a lot of humorous com complexity and it just felt very staged and unreal so i gave it one start which is very boring although it was very quick because the font was like gigantic but again that's not everything if the book sucks so let me know if you still remember what you read in may because i clearly couldn't remember what the book about remembering was about but yeah thanks for watching bye